It took me four fucking tries to make this intro. Wish me luck. Hopefully this gets posted. UFC 293 Adesanya versus Strickland takes place this weekend. And I'm going to go through the full card breakdown and in detailed prediction. Starting with the early prelim opener of Kevin Doucette versus Kiefer Crosby. I've been fucking them. I made it up to fucking Shepe Mariscal's fight. And then it got cut off. Don't know why. Um, Kevin Jusset versus Kiefer Crosby. Both don't deserve to be in the UFC whatsoever. But if I'm going to have to pick someone, I'm going to have to go for Kiefer Crosby. This is such an unappealing fight. Such an unappealing fight. I hate making these ones when two people make their debuts because there's nothing to fucking go off of. I'm going to go for Kiefer Crosby. He's fought better, guys. He has a better style. And Jusset's only in the UFC because he's trained at CKB. And it's on Adesanya's card. And it's in Australia because they never go there often. I'm going to go for him winning this one. I'm going to go for Kiefer Crosby winning this one. He's scrappy. He's tough. I could just see him dropping Giuseppe in each round and picking himself up a decision win. 30-27. Maybe some 29-28 bias scorecard. So I'm going to go for Kiefer Crosby winning this. We move on. Up the card. Nadrat Hakparas versus Landon Quinones. Lannan Quinones, um, he's not that good, I don't know why he's in the UFC, he lost to fucking Jason Knight, and since then he hasn't done anything, like, lost to Jason Knight on tough, then won a grappling match, by decision, that gets him in the UFC, I feel like it's pretty easy to get in the UFC nowadays, you just need a few couple of wins in the regionals, and you're fucking in, um, look at Bo Nickel, um, yeah, I'm going to go for Nasrat. He's a way better fighter, way better crisper boxing. Lost to Green and Hooker, two two great guys in that division. So I think you got to go for him winning this one. Um, he doesn't have much of a grappling game, but it's not Queen Yona's grapples. So in that case, I think Nasrat's going to get a first-round brutal KO over this Queen guy who lost to Jason Knight on tough. So yeah, I'm picking him to win this one. Yeah, we move on. Up the card. Um, he lost a triangle choke, by the way, to Jason Knight and Tough. We move on. Shane Young. Not that yet. Jamie Malarkey versus John McDessie. I'm going to go for Jamie Malarkey. It's pretty easy. Pretty self-explanatory prediction here. Jamie Malarkey's going to win. Um, yeah, I think he's just a way better fighter than John McDessie, who's just done at this point. And way past its prime. Way past his prime. Yeah, he doesn't have a great chin, McDessie. He can be chinned, can be cracked. He's good against Bahamandez. But Bahamandez just, ro- just recently lost, by the way. And that was his debut. And it was still a close fight where McDessie got the edge. And he got hit a lot in that fight. I could see Malarkey doing the same, but I can see Malarkey having more of a crack in his shots. And I can see him putting out McDessie in the first round in a scrappy battle. So I am actually going to go for Jamie Malarkey, picking himself up a first round KO. He did lose to Mohamed Naimov, but Mohamed Naimov is pretty good. And he outgrappled Prado. Prado is a really good fighter, and he outgrappled him. So if there's any trouble in the FIFA, Malarkey, he can just grapple here. But I think he'll be fine on the feet and get a win. He move on. Up the card. Shane Young versus Gabriel Miranda. Gabriel Miranda. He, I, I rate losses to Spinoza St. Denise. And, um... I rate losses to Benoit St. Denise. And Ahmed... Ma- 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 what the fuck am I saying? Ahmed Magomedov. Jeez, I hope that's cut out. I rate those two losses more than Omar Morales and Blake Builder. Blake Builder just lost to Kyle Nelson, so that's not a good look for Shane Young. He didn't make that fight competitive, but I think it shows how shit Builder is. And he even shows how shit how shitter fucking Shane Young is from even losing to him. Shane Young's not good. Obviously, Gabriel Miranda's going to beat him. He's not good. Shane Young is not good. He's just isn't. He's just not meant for the game. I think he needs to quit after this one. After Gabriel Miranda wins a scrappy decision over him, possibly gets a finish. But I think Miranda 
He trained at MMA Masters with Colby and that, and a lot of other great guys. His cardio is going to be up. I'm obviously going to go for him winning this one. Gabriel Miranda, good fighter. He'll beat Shane Young by whatever way he wants. Yeah, I'm, Miranda's going to win by decision, I think. We move on. Up the card. Another easy pick. Blood Diamond versus Charlie Rutke. Charlie Rutke is obviously going to win this one. He's got grappling. He's got stand-up. Not the best stand-up in the world, but Blood Diamond, it's just you can beat him. You can beat Blood Diamond by whatever he means. Watch his fight against Ryan Koske. That shows the worst fighter in the UFC. This is CM Punk level. This guy is not good. He's on this card yet again because Adesanya is fighting this card. I'm going to obviously go for Charlie Ratke. He was supposed to fight Joe Piper on a grappling match. That would have been honestly interesting because Charlie Ratke is pretty good. So I think he'll just take down Blood Diamond and beat him up. If Kosuke can do it, Ratke can do it. We move on. And he lost to Jeremiah Wells. Didn't look good at all in that fight. I know that's Wells, so I'm not going to give him too much hate there. But beat Orion Kosuke, you bum. We move on. Up the card. Jack Jenkins versus Shepe Mariscal. Is it just me or is Shepe Mariscal? I don't know about him. Because Trevor Peak is just... He's a meme. Trevor Peak is a meme. But he isn't good. And Shepe Mariscal made that kind of competitive. Not going to lie. I know Trevor Peak's wild and... And it's just, it's tricky to figure him out because he's so wild and it's just hard to, you know, hard to, it's hard to bite the mouth beast down when you're facing him. And it's hard to get the timing going, but Jack Jenkins is good. I really do trust Jack Jenkins as a prospect. And I do believe he's going to go out there and beat Shepe Mariscal, who did have some good hip tosses against, uh, against, what's his name? Trevor Peak. But Jack Jenkins is good. Arguably, he should have lost to Jamal Emmers. But before that, he beat Don Shanus. He's not the best either. But I think he will go out there and just get a close decision win over Shepe Mariscal in a fight of the night candidate. I'm going to go for Jack Jenkins. He's good. 30 years old. I like Shepe. I hope he wins. But I don't think he wins this. I'm going to go for Jack Jenkins. Piecing him up with leg kicks. Chopping at his legs. Looking pretty good. I just don't trust Shepe Mariscal. I just really don't. So I'm going to go for Jack Jenkins. We move on. Um, yeah, we move on. Up the card. Carlos Olberg versus Da Eun Young. Why are they feeding him free wins? It's two in a row now. He beat Ihor Pateria, free win. Now Da Eun Young. This is a dangerous one for Olberg, though. Unlike the Pateria one. Because Olberg could get slept here for being cocky and shit, but he's fought dangerous guys. Like, <coughs> Boteria wasn't that good, let's be real, but Nekalana Gimriano is dangerous. Tafana Chukwi is dangerous. You know? I think he'll beat Dalton Young, who beat Neza Chukwu. I don't understand the sport. He beat Neza Chukwu, but he lost to Jacoby and got KO'd. You know? But Jacoby just beat Nizza Chukwu by KO, so it all makes sense. But Devin Clark shouldn't be beating you. Like, I, I Jacoby KO'd him. Oh, well. Jacoby caught him. But Devin Clark held him against the cage, and he couldn't do anything. Clark wins, 30-27. Most boring fight of all time, I think. But, yeah, Olberg's obviously going to go out there and catch him on the chin and put him out. I don't like this one at all for uh, Da Eun Young. Yeah, I just don't see him winning this one. He's pretty good. He's still 29 years old, but he just looked absolute trash. And Olberg, I think we'll catch him in the first round. I think that will happen. But if he needs to, he can just pick it at range and piece up. That would young because Sam Alvey, at the end of the day, did that for two rounds before getting 10 8 in the third. I don't see Olberg getting outgrappled. I think Olberg's got this in the bag. Yeah, but it's a lot like got us on yeah. I think he'll get it done. We move on. Up the card to the main card. Manel Cap versus Felipe Dos Santos. <laughs> Manel Cap. Um, you have gotten lots of cancellations recently. So let's give you a free win here. 
over Felipe Dos Santos. Um, this will be a free win for you. I'm going to cap. Felipe Dos Santos is a great prospect, 22 years old, and he's getting fed to fucking cap. They do not care about this guy. They want him to die. Cap's going to lay him out in the first round with a flying knee or some shit. What are they doing? Cap's going to win. I don't understand the matchmaking in this card. Cap's going to go out there and knock him out in the first. I think he would have done that to Kai Carefront regardless, too. He's just going to get slept. He is shorter, but... Cap is shorter here, but I think Cap's just going to go out there. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Like, it's going to be bad for Felipe Dos Santos. Credit to him, though, if he does pull this off, but... I highly doubt it. Cap's going to go out there and do his thing. It's going to be terrible to watch. We move on. Up the card. Tyson Pedro versus Anton Turcalge. Tyson Pedro, you have to go with here. Anton Turcalge is just... He's not good. Tyson Pedro isn't good either, but... He's more trustworthy than fucking Turcalge. Anton Turcalge... Again, why is he in the UFC? Almeida destroyed him. Vitor Petrino beat him. That was such a bad fight there from both of them. But Petrino got the better of it. Um, but Pedro. You know. But this Spikowskis isn't bad in hindsight. You know, no. But this Spikowskis is pretty good in hindsight. But how can I rate wins over Harry Hunsucker and E.K. Villanueva? But I think the one thing in Kerry College's game is, is grappling. Big weakness there. It's an it's it's interesting on the feet here, but on the ground it's night and day. And I think Tyson can get it done on the ground and beat up Anton Turcalge. I think that will exactly happen. So I got Tyson Pedro winning on the ground, first round sub. We move on up the card. Justin Taffa versus Austin Lane two, the rematch. Not really, because the first fight wasn't even a fight. Shit. I want to pick Lane, but Tafa, I can just see Tafa catching him, like, out of nowhere. I picked Tafa the first time, but it was risky. But looks like early on in that fight, Lane was athletic, moving around the outside. And Tafa beat Parker Porter. He lost to Harry Hunsucker. No, he beat Harry Hunsucker, but lost to Jared Vandera. I'm going to go for Austin Lane this time. I think he's going to go out there and pick apart. Um, I think he'll pick apart Justin Tuff at range and really, really annoy him. Because before that fight, big winning streak. Juan Adams, Eric, Eric Lunsford, Richard, Richard Jacoby, Rashawn Jackson, Brad Taylor. You know, good wins. He's massively improved in himself. And I think he's going to go out there and catch Austin. I, I, I know Justin Taffer looked good against Parker Porter, but it's Parker Porter, man. And I think he'll have that Australia-Sydney like jitters. And I think he's going to go out there and get picked apart by Austin Lane. And possibly get, possibly get finished. I'm actually going to go for like a one-two head kick combo from Austin Lane. And putting out Justin Taffer. So yeah, I'm going to pick him that to happen. I'm going to go for Austin Lane. I think he'll get it done. We move on. Up the card. He's old as fuck, though. Um, Ty Tuivasa versus Alexander Volkov. Again. I'm going to go for Alexander Volkov. I hope Ty wins. But Volkov is dangerous. And we all have to admit that now. You know, great performance against Romanov. Great performance against Romanov. Look great. And Romanov just bounced back against Ivanov. You know, such a good win for Romanov. A good win for Volkov. And Rosenstroik, he put out Rosenstroik with the punches. Volkov just ain't a kicker over here. He, like, he can land. Only losses to Aspinall, Garn, Blades, and Lewis. Let's be real. Good fighters he's losing to. Aspinall and Garn, top guys right now. You know? You know, Garn, you know, slipping. But um, Aspinall and Garn are two guys are good. Blades is good. And Lewis fluked it. Let's be real. I think he beats Lewis and Blade. So only loss is really Aspinall and Gone. Close fight against Gone. Aspinall's different. You know, it's crazy that Aspinall made him look so easy. But 
You beat Ty Burrow over Reem Harris. I don't think Tui Voss is going to win. I'll make more in-depth predictions for this later this week. But I got Tui Voss losing. He lost to Pavlovich. Took time off after the gone fight. Took off, off. He too took time off after the Pavlovich fight. But the confidence level might not be there. Even after the gone fight. He's taking the damage. I can see Tui, Tui Voss again. Hit to the floor flex with a front kick. And cover it up in the second round. Don't think he'll outgrapple Volkov. Don't think he'll chin Volkov. Volkov's got a granite chin on him. And I don't see him. He could chop the legs, but Volkov can keep the body. More effective, in my opinion. So I'm going to go for Volkov winning this one by TKO. We move on up the card to the main event. Israel Adesanya versus Sean Strickland. I am hoping so badly Strickland wins. Because that would be the most fucking funniest thing of all time. O'Malley was cool. But Strickland's different. You know? Colby winning the belt would be cool. But I think Adesanya is going to go out there and question mark kick him. And put him out in the second round. I think he will. I think round one's going to be close. But I think Strickland... Like, he could get Izzy emotional. But Izzy... He, he sinks it... He, he just sinks all the emotional in him and makes it into rage. But we'll see. You know, yeah, he, he beat Pereira. Put him out cold. You know, Pereira, great performance. Strickland beat Abus Magomedov. Abus Magomedov. Beat Nashini Namavov. Two guys that are barely ranked. Namavov is, but Abus isn't. Adesanya is going to go out there and beat him. He's way better on the feet. I don't think Strickland, if, even if Strickland grapples, which I don't even think he will, I still don't think it will work. I think Izzy's going to go out there. And I think he's going to make land shots early on Strickland. Come forward. I don't know. Maybe Strickland's actually looking pretty good out there. Making it close to Adesani. But Adesani is chopping the legs. Doing what he does. Maybe he lands a shot on Strickland. Get, makes him second guess. And I can see Strickland coming forward with his little parry guard. His little Philly guard he does. And I can see Strickland. Once he throws like a jab. Adesani rips, wraps around a question mark kick. And KOs him. So... I'll go round 2 KO for Adesanya. I hope Strickland wins. I'll make a prayer for him later this week as well. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Full cop predictions. Peace.